So now do it actually. You have to apply it when you start the game. Oh look, everything's different color. Because it's a new fear. Option. Yeah, you have to adjust it in the game. Self view, and now let's see what we what do we get. Not here, obviously. Oh, that's it. Maybe that's what they meant. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, that's like aiming, but I wonder if it changes from like regular aiming. How I found out? I remember how I found found out about this. So. While researching monsters, I came across the uh, uh, Masahiro Ito's uh, Twitter account, or I think it's more correct if I say it in my accent, Masahiro Ito. And then, yeah, it's self view. Actually, I wanted to check if something changed. And he said that he was, even though he designed the levels, he was scared uh, playing first person in school. And I was like, yep it doesn't work like this so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's gonna change after the this let's try it let's just try it out I'm really curious because if this works I'm gonna do my next Silent Hill 1 run like this so I was like what the hell is he talking about first person mode mod is there like a first person fan mod and I found out there's one but I kept digging and get found this yep that's it found this uh game FAQs article from like over 10 years ago and I was like holy shit a lot of people are mentioning this so you should be able to yeah I need a weapon first let's start with that let's get all the goodies just go through this first part yep the bastard is gonna fly behind me right now just wanna see if I adjusted the auto aim this time auto aiming on, blood color, view control Retreat turn, retreat turn, reverse. I don't, I'm not gonna touch that. Okay, and you can just go to switch, I guess. Now, this is yeah, there he is. This is starting on hard now. Like I said, every time you clear a game, it pushes to the next difficulty. Since we started on normal, we're gonna. So sad I never used the knife. We're gonna continue on hard, right? So weird with that view. Skip that. Ooh, I didn't equip it. Skip. Huh. Oh, god damn it. What's going on go with that radio? <laughs> oh my god. That gets me every time. Come on. Uh, I want to shoot you without the gun, so please. Oh, already hit me. And this is hard, so I might die quickly. We just shoot it. And die. Kick it, kick it while it's down. Oh yeah, you don't have to kick it for the first time. Okay, let's try it now outside is this it so you can probably it's not fully per first person but yeah Nah, bullet adjust. I'm just trying this out. But yeah, we can. We like. I don't know if I do it. I know I beat it on hard without that because I think it lowers score. But I don't know. I'll think about it when we do the next run. So, so the thing is, so without it, here's what's different. This is the search view, right? Without the self view. That's what they meant. And it's like you know, you like you'd expect. Most of the time, I use it to turn around camera and all like the first three Silent Hill games because that's how they work they basically have the same mechanics right so if 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 you're looking at the camera you don't want that you just hold L2 the controller but with self view I see it's not totally first person but 
I want to try playing the game like that and see what happens. So what was it? View mode, self view. And then, is there like reverse, I'm going to say? Maybe? Weapon control should also be switched. Let's try it like that. So. Okay, yeah. So now holding the button puts the camera away and letting it go. And you can just, yeah, that, not that one. So like to play all the time like this, that's what you have to set. Now we got to remember that for the next time, zombie. So weapon control stays normal. View control reverse and then view mode self-view. And then let's see what Sand Hill looks like in this mode. Just gonna check it out. Very weird. <laughs> and then you can press this to like kind of look away. That's the camera from the end. So when I was approaching that elevator, getting down into nowhere, that's the camera that was that was being used. And you can see, I, people people who use this said you can see a lot better. And they're true. Like, look at that. But it's so weird. His head is right there. <laughs> okay, I, we're going to play this in this mode, I'm sure. There's bullets. So let's try the bullet adjust right here, how it works. No, I want to see if I have any first. No, I don't. I have nothing. Can I take some? And I check how much I got. I got a 15. Okay. Then I go to extra options. Two. Oh, okay. I think uh, this changes depending on how many times you clear the game. You get more and more. I remember being able to do times three. So let's see now. You can look up and down though. So that's weird. But you can like zoom out the camera if you need to see something close. This is a new way to play Sun Hill, I'm gonna say. And it's so weird that... I don't know, maybe that's the reason why a lot of people didn't find out about it. Also, a pl a, the guy who was talking about it a lot, saying, you know, like me, thinking someone's trolling him. Um, he said something like, uh, that he said it but it didn't work and then somebody mentioned ah yeah now you can clip into the buildings ah beautiful uh he mentioned that you can somebody told him actually sorry i got lost there somebody told him that you should be you should do it once you start the game because the options will not apply once you load the next sphere save right so let's say I want to do, I want to go for Cheryl. I would have to go, what? Behind me to the right. Okay. So weird, but you can see things now. Fuck that. I'm also going to look for a bin, trash can, whatever. A newspaper stand, actually. Because there should be a, a reference I missed before. There's a reference to Silence of the Lambs. This is so weird. <laughs> Zombie, did you know about this? Because this is fucking amazing. It looks so weird. Like, why is his, his head at the bottom? I guess they didn't want to make it full first person. Which is sad because it has like the, the PS1 had analog controllers at this time. Ugh, that never looks as good as I want. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither, buddy. I'm actually excited. I want to play it next time like this. And people who knew about it, they all said, like, you know, it's sad that Konami never used it again. Maybe because they never talked about it. Maybe it was an experimental feature that was left in the game somehow or something like that. And, I don't know, his head just at the bottom. But I gotta say, it's it kind of looks easier to dodge shit. Three dogs, shit. Fuck those dogs. Everything looks different, right? So this is, like, what the normal camera would be like here. And this is what we get. Completely different angle. Though you can't see b below you, so... Oh, he's not gonna comment on that. Why? Because it's a second game? That's weird. But yeah. I see why, yeah. 
That clipping is, yeah, it's not a perfect feature, but it's a very, oh my god, there's an e there's enemies here on hard. Fuck you, doggy. Yeah, I didn't check how many bullets I got, actually. Yeah, you get 30. So, like, with this, you can't, even on hard, you can't lose with double bullets. Not to mention tri triple bullets. How am I supposed to see what's down there with this camera? So I guess I would have to do this. <laughs> Isn't this Cheryl? I just want to see the school. I'll be there. Oh yeah, I don't. I can't. That's gonna take some time. But yeah, when we do the next Sand Hill One playthrough, this is gonna be a thing. I'm gonna try playing it like this, which maybe isn't smart doing on a hard mode, but who gives a shit? <laughs> with all the extra weapons, we should be good. Maybe I don't set it as a default, but just keep the third person, or maybe when I need to find out where I am, I just hold this. Whoop. Whoop. I, I like how it slowly creeps away from him when you hold a button, but when you let go, it just like whoosh, smacks right there. That's weird. Other than that, this is... Oh yeah, we skipped the whole... Oh, of course there are enemies. This is not the... Uh, yeah, I forgot we actually skipped the intro. Fuck you, doggy. Fuck you, doggy. Woohoo! I can't see what's behind me. That kind of makes it scarier, but also gives me false hope that I'm better than... than Yeah, channeling stone as well. I don't know. Maybe... Ooh, shit. Maybe the, the, the next thing we do would be all the UFO endings. That sounds like fun. Because I know, so I know for sure your findings from Silent Hill 2, 3 and Shutter Memories. And I don't think I've done any more in other games. This is amazing. I'm going to play it like this, definitely. Like, such a weird... I know, I, I see it Silent Hill. I know it's Silent Hill. But it looks different. It's like a brand new game. And you can actually see things up close. This really helps. Forbidden Trespass. All persons are forbidden, yeah. Very advanced, like for 1999, knowing that the game was developed from like 1997 or something, just fucking mind-blowing. Yeah, the channeling stone would be here. Let's check that out, actually. I'm at the store. I didn't even check the map. I'm just navigating by, you know, by sheer, by looking at things, trying to figure out where I am. Because this, this is that tunnel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's see if we would find it. So much help. Oh my god, zombie. <laughs> I feel like a... I feel like a... Yeah, there we go. What was it in the first game? You have to use it in some in specific place or places. I think you have to use it in two places or something like that. That was so cool. Like that nobody expected that from this game. So being psychotically scary as it was for 1999, <laughs> I just can't get over the fl floppy head. <laughs> uh, after everything, like so many endings and all that you get a UFO ending, just like for shits and giggles. And becomes this fucking staple. I, they missed it in Sun Hill 4, and in Sun Hill... I think in uh, Downpour it's different. It's not a UFO ending, it's just like... a different ending. A joke ending or something like that, but yeah. Also, Sun Hill 2 has two joke endings. The version we're gonna play... Um, director's Cut or Restless Dreams, depending on where you are. Uh, it has... Wow. Okay, you can actually clip outside. Beautiful. But it's still loading a lot, I can see. Woohoo! Uh, it has a bonus, like... What would not nowadays be a DLC? It was just... Uh, it was like an expansion, let's say. And oh, 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 
Oh, you missed me somehow, even though I stopped there to look at my phone. Um, the second joke ending, I think I got it once, because it's such a silly, dumb ending. I don't know, the dog ending, people who played Silent Hill 2 will know. Oh, I missed that. It's hard to pick up items with this camera, but still, there we go. Nice. Oh, but I can't tell how... Oh, yeah, that. I, I'll never be able to dodge them as easily with this camera, definitely. That co dog really doesn't give up, does he? Run! The bobbing is just perfect. And you can... Like I said, it's so... Everything's so close. I can see, uh, yeah, the same car everywhere. I don't mind that. <laughs> but still, it's... Wow. Um, I I was getting into this. Didn't want to try my old save just so I wanted to do it on stream and find out. But I I was fifty fifty whether it's actually gonna be a feature, first person camera. It's not really like I said first person, but still. Works as you'd expect. Now, the controls might be even easier now for people who don't like uh, tank controls. Yeah, there was, but I'm not playing this for real. I was just showing this camera. Because um, now, actually, up will always be forward, left and right. I mean, like it is with this one, though a lot of people... And I see criticism for Silent Hill and Resident Evil being the controls. I mean, what... I get it. Different people... I, I can't play without the inverted stick. It's just so weird for me. It's When I press up and, it, and I look up, it's... Ah! Which is... A great issue with Silent Hill Homecoming, which doesn't have invert inverted controls for some reason. Xbox 360, PS3, fuck's sake, you could have updated, but okay. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm veering off track here. But yeah, th these controls, where wherever you turn, uh, when you press up, it goes up. It just makes sense. And then you slightly adjust it with left and right. So, just think from the point of your character. But yeah, a lot of criticism falls to that. So with this camera, those people would maybe even enjoy this game. You can even see shit. And like I said before with component cables, even though it's a 240p game slash 480i, depending on where you are, how did you do that, you dick? That the hard is not that hard. Uh, but yeah. I think I've said all I had to say. 